Hi there, Olivia here. In this video, I want to take you through some additions to the floor version of the front arm stretch, which is where we're exploring this range of movement of the arm in the shoulder joint. I filmed the standing wall version of this recently. You can find that on the channel here. We find that people have very strong positions on whether they prefer the standing wall version to the floor version. It's quite intriguing. I used to always like the, the standing version much more than the floor one, but what I've been adding to the floor one is, is changing that position. So here we go. I am on a mat. Some of you from the old ANU days will recognise this as our executive teaching mat. It's still going strong. Uh, it's about, I guess, two inches thick. And the reason I'm up on this little bit of a lift is that I want to use the edge of the mat as an anchor to hold on to. That's really going to wind on the stretch for me. So. The angle of the arm in the shoulder joint is important, about 45 degrees in relation to the thoracic spine, so not too low in other words. Hold on to the edge of the mat there, and then start to get a drawing out effect by moving your body as far away from that anchored hand as you can, and then more particularly, move the inside hip through and then start to roll yourself into the stretch. And this top leg's going to be coming up and over. Then really exaggerate moving that bottom hip as far through as you can and all the ribs and all the tissues here. Really exaggerate that and then settle into the stretch head down initially. The bottom leg, I'm going to reach it through and hook the heel on the edge of the mat and it's going to provide a pulling force. Imagine you're trying to pull that leg as far away from that anchored stretching arms hand as you can. Then roll the top hip back as far as you can. And then the top leg, I'll just move this arm out of the way. The top leg, I'm gonna reach it back as far as I can. Big stretch being wound on already here. Rest the head. This hand here can be in a push-up position and you can be using it as a strong pushing force to roll that shoulder back. You can also, because I've got some friction of the hand on the mat, be using this kind of action to draw yourself away from the anchored hand. Breathe deeply. Every time I breathe in, I'm trying to lift my chest towards the camera. So it's a spine straightening action, in other words. And then this arm, I'm gonna bring it up in a big reaching action up to the ceiling. Big, big, big reaching action. Then I'm gonna lift the head off. That seems to really plow the shoulder into the floor and make it an even stronger stretch. But if that's too strong, by all means, rest the weight of the head on the floor. And then do your usual contraction. The outstretched arm, the stretching arm, my right one, the one that's down on the mat, try to pull that through the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Stop contracting. Take a deep breath in, lift the chest along the floor, reach the top arm, the left arm, right up to the ceiling, reach back, reach through with the lower leg, reach out with the top leg. Big, big, big stretch being felt there. Breathe as deeply as you can. Nice, and to come out, bring this arm through and slowly unwind. Wow, that's a massive stretch, all the way through the forearm, across the elbow, through the arm, right down through the chest and the rib cage. Give that one a go.